Ne? Favour. What she said. Involved you, her, and also I suspect Jimmy King going on more than a little frustrated. She should thank me for stepping in. See, my response should be, what do you care? But I already know what the answer is. No, you don't. Paddy, there are undiscovered tribes in Borneo. You know what the answer is? You've fallen in love with the woman. Well, just shut up, will you? We're out of bleach. You're going to have to go to the shop and get some for me. I can't go. Steph, we've been through this. What if you're wrong? What if Forensic finds some blood, like they did with Shelley? I tell you, they can put things through the Ivan Needle these days. Please. I've got to be sure. Well, it can't do any harm, I suppose. You don't let anyone in. I'll be as quick as I can. Just pick that up, shall I? Well, you won't find me complaining. Oh, rest in the age of chivalry, is he dead? You right? Yes, thanks. Just meeting one of the local characters. Okay, yeah. She's a character, all right. I was hoping to bump into you, funnily enough. Were you now? Yes. I believe we have things to discuss. Never really got into details the other day, did we? Well, it was you who ran out on me, you know. Probably a good thing I did. I meant discussing the contract. Have you had breakfast? Not yet. Right. Follow me. And come and meet some more of the local characters. Shouldn't he be going my other way? Well, obviously he's made of the plans. Oh, Irving him. I want surprises. Everyone else around here is at it. Why not them? And me and Katie being a bit noisy at night time, don't they? Don't ask. What say we take a trip to our place of worship today? You mean the pub? It's where I go religiously. <laughs> you get it? Religiously. <laughs> I think I'm uh, going to have a sit down. You all right, love? Yeah, I'm just a bit tired. Shift yourself. Hey? Eh? Yeah, shift yourself. Oh. <laughs> You're going to come down pub in a bit? I don't know if I'm up to it. Oh, come on. Take you out of yourself. Yeah. You can always come back if it gets too much for you. See how I feel, eh? Two full English, then, of course, you don't necessarily have to make the trip in. Hope and deliverance can bring it straight to your door. See what I mean? Characters everywhere. No kidding. Oh, come on, two! And why not? Right, you're having two. I am having two. Oh, don't be ridiculous. That can't possibly fit. So how come you get all the real estate? What's going on? Right. Oh, hey! One each in the interests of balance. Now, you're going to buy anything or not? I'm going to the village hall. Not without me, you're not. I want to work with you. Oh, can it not wait, it this? It won't take a sec. Now, when you see Noreen, will you tell her if she doesn't pick up her parcel soon, I am marking it. Return to sender. I've had it for over a week. I'm not a keeper, am I? Oh, pardon me. Thought you were mates. Actually, I haven't seen her in ages, as it happens. Don't you think you ought to? Or doesn't your civic duty stretch to keeping an eye on pensioners? He's always there, meddling. Do you know what I mean? Well, I'm probably all right. Yeah, easy for you to say. It's not you he passes judgment on. Well, what'd you do? He's not happy about me getting a job with them lot, that's all. Say it again, please. So? When do I start my new job? 
boss? Uh, oh, Chuck's there. Is P.A. Oh. Is P.A. Yeah. Not that it's got anything to do with you. So, uh, I know things didn't go quite as planned last night. You got that right. But I can hand in my notice here and mediate there, if you want. Yeah. Thing is... Thing is, he gave me that job yesterday. You what? What did you give it to her for? Well, it's probably best if you do the explaining, because I'm already starting to dislike her attitude, you know what I mean? It's... Chazzy's job. Oh, see? Are we clear? OK, I better we take things down a notch. Shh. But last night, you said... Uh, yeah, well, you said a few things and all, and neither of us have delivered, so, uh, let's just call it even, OK? Uh, it, what, what's he talking about? You're doing me over for her? Oh, one more comment like that and I'm coming round the bar. What is it? Down, one notch. Uh, Tony was hoping that I'd consider her for the job in exchange for certain favours. Flipping it, Tony! Oh, oh, right. So she's done what I wouldn't. Nasty little tar. Oh, OK, then, that's it. Keeping it friendly, people. You just tell her to keep her gob shut, Marlon. Yeah? I'm ready when you are. Oi, shut it, yeah. I'm ready when you are. And if I find out anybody even believes what she just said, it's you I'm coming for. All right, boss. OK. OK. You know, I can't understand why you're not more popular. Especially with ladies. Hello, Ted. How are you? Sorry I can't ask you in. A bit swamped, I'm afraid. Well, you know, spring cleaning, counts, that sort of thing. This sort of place doesn't run itself. Yes, I know. <laughs> you all right? Oh, good morning, Alan. <laughs> now, I, I was going to ask you two if you'd like to come and have lunch with me at the pub. Uh, my, my treat. Lunch? Oh, uh... Well, that to... sounds really rather nice, doesn't it, Steph? I, uh, I think you can count us in. We've got an awful lot to do, I think. It... Oh, I'm sure if Alan leaves us to get on with things, we'll be OK. Oh, that sounds like my cue, doesn't it? Well, I I'll see you at the pub, then. Uh, One-ish? Fine. Good. See you, then. Bye. Hello? Won't be a minute. Um... Actually, I, wa I wanted to ask you some words. Ask away. Um, at this stage in the you know, chemo cycle, I'm supposed to be feeling better, yeah? And you're not. I just feel tired all the time. Were it like that for you? No, but I didn't have the same treatment as you. I just thought I'd ask. <laughs> Listen, it might not be the chemo. Don't forget you've just had a little one. That's bound to be a drain. And you're planning a wedding. Yeah. Plus... Let's face it, you live in a madhouse. No wonder you're knackered. Yeah. <laughs> Can't help, can I? <laughs> I don't want to answer any more watch sports questions. Oh, oh. How's the old Batlax doing? Ah, you're going to have to be a little more specific, I'm afraid. I'm rather spoiled for choice around here. In this case, Noreen. Only I haven't seen her about for a while. That have I, funnily enough. Not at all? Well, for at least a week. A week? Aren't you worried? Oh. oh, one gets to be philosophical about these things at my age. Death. It's just God's way of telling you to slow down. What <laughs> since when? Purdy called this morning. And what did she say? She said she hoped we'd have a very amicable working relationship for many years to come. Well, that's great. Isn't it? So, um, why am I not happy? I don't know. Your tendency towards seeing the glass as half empty? But everything is above board, isn't it? Why wouldn't it be? I mean, we got this fair and square. There's nothing dodgy going on, is there? No. as quick as I could. What's he doing here? Uh, damsel in distress. Oh, what a fat 
that long ago to hears me when I wasn't going to break in. He was outside the pub and I took the call and offered to... What are you talking about breaking in? The Lord, he might be lying in there dead or worse. What else are we going to do? Teleport? Have you given any thought as to how breaking and entering into a petrol's house will look in terms of political spin? Will you forget about the election? It is not important. No. It was you who tore down half my posters. Excuse, excuse me. If it's of interest. Oh, yes, I know. Why are you both staring at me? I've got heels on. I'm old. Get out! Get out! Noreen, you're okay? Of course I am. What the hell are you doing here? Are you? Marlon said there'd been some trouble. What's happened? Are you right? Turns out you were right about the Kings. Well, you found that out, did you? And not in a nice way. I'm sorry. I've... I learnt a long time ago what that lot are capable of. I just wish. I'm just trying to get by, you know? Get the same things out of life everyone else does. So why is it people only ever see me as this slapper? They don't. They, they, they... Well, I don't, anyway. But from what I've heard, it sounds like you've not really helped yourself. I never would have with Jim, eh? Well, I know that. You just took my flirting a little bit more literally than I thought, that was all. An artist. And look, I wanted to say I was sorry. It's all right. What's the slap I've got to do to get an up round here? You what? Be 4.45, please. Maybe they've just had a row or something. Tell you what, why don't you join them? Give Alan a bit of moral support. Me? <laughs> no, no, it's all right, Jack. I'll manage. I don't know. You're all right. What are friends for? Jack, Jack's coming to join us. Great. How is everyone? All right, thanks. What about you, Steph? Seemed a bit out of sorts last night. Steph? Oh, sorry. What is the matter? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Oh, God, I'm sorry. It's all right. I'll see to her. I'm sorry about this. All right. What did you say? I think I've said anything. You can't let something like this get you down. I suppose. Come on. Jimmy King? Worth a thousand Jimmy Kings, you. A million. A million and nine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You should just take a look in the mirror. And you'd see the funny and intelligent, beautiful girl that we all see. Flatterer. I mean, it's like, you know when you meet someone and it takes you a while to realise that they're special? Well, I kind of realised that straight away with you. I really did. Remind me why we fell out again? Because we should make up more often. <laughs> you do my ego good. <laughs> You're not bad for me, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no? No. And, see, the thing is... Well, the thing is... Well, you know, don't you, that I love you. I love you too, mate. Loads. I'm not going back into that village, that's for certain, ever. Noreen. No! Why? You don't know what it's like. Nobody does. Actually, 
I do. You what? I know. <laughs> I've been the butt of more public jokes around here than I care to remember. I've been laughed at, ripped off, scammed, sneered at, abandoned. <laughs> Malicious pranks played on me, and yes, you're right. It is horrible. Remembering sometimes keeps you awake at night. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Got as low as one can get once. But you know what? Deep down inside, you're still you. You're still important. You matter. You are unique. And that's all you have to keep in mind. And they can throw anything they like at you. You still stand tall. Well, <laughs> not exactly at all. No. I know what you mean. And thank you. There we are. Got it. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, oh well, I think I'll have a sit down. Of course. You should have said. She could have done either way. Is that what you were talking to Diane about in pub? How do you know? She's had it, hasn't she? Cancer, I mean. And to be honest, she weren't much help either. You're just as well talking to me then, aren't you? I mean, I don't know how about medical stuff, but at least it's me, isn't it? No, you better than anyone else does. We'll do in future, eh? I promise. We can get through out as long as we keep talking. There's three, can't we? It's not going to say much, is he? You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Hey, you listen to yourselves. It's like an episode of the Flaming Waltons in here. Why do you always have to bring everybody down? Why do you always have to be a moron? Ignore him, he's just jealous. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm jealous of you lot. Well, if you're not, you should be. You've got no. Do you want to explain that last remark? Well, what are you going to do? Kill me? <coughs> I've got cancer and that's still one more thing than you. That would dead good, that. I'm sure you can understand that I'm concerned. Of course, but this kind of thing was bound to happen. Certainly once Terence was allowed to stay. Yes, well, and anyway... Dad! Uh, nothing. Just take care. Helen. And then she called me a best mate. Oh, the words every man dreads to hear. So now what am I going to do? Well, I guess tentative hasn't worked you. She's just going to have to be more direct. That's all. Just go in and grab her. Yes. Yes, one, because your advice has really worked in the past. And two, because Paddy the Viking is so appropriate, don't you think? Not really. Say it again. Yeah, please. Come on. You know, I'm amazed you can even show your face in here. I'm entitled to a drink, same as everybody else. What are you having, Danny? Uh, me and Joel have the same again, please, T. I think you'll find I was first. Oh, yeah? You can wait. Unless you want me to spit in it first. The choice is yours. You want to watch yourself? I'm a customer. What are you going to do? Sack me. Now you going to wait your turn or get lost. Fine, I'll wait. All right. Listen. You know all that stuff about Perda to call in this morning to finalise everything? Yeah. I saw you meet her. And? No. Just seemed to be getting on pretty well, that's all. <laughs> my, my. We work in a suspicious little veterinary practice, don't we? Well, it's just an observation. Yes, well, you keep your little observations to yourself. You wouldn't want a lucrative deal like this jeopardised now, would you? I don't want to live like this again. Someone always has to answer for it. Someone will answer, all right.
For me, it's the end of any kind of normal life I'm likely to have. Prison, maybe. They'll certainly never let me practice again. But you? With your record? But you'll tell them what happened, right? <laughs> you think they'll believe me? I could confess to the whole thing and still walk away scot-free because they'll say I was lying to protect you. But you, with your past and the fact they know you hated him, Oh, Steph, no. They'll throw away the key. There must be something I can do. Let me handle it. Mm -hmm. Let me look after you. <laughs>